so many oh my gosh there's just like so much to talk about okay so a lot of people have been talking about the navigation for this game versus midnight in salem and everyone's been wondering oh okay is it going to be the same so wait 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 what wait what wait what tori said did you hear about the dual navigation system was in a press release today it will be the op it will be the option of point and click or free roam control <gasps> wait really that's so exciting where okay wait where did they release this at and what press release did they say this at that is okay wow that changes things a lot because that gives freedom for people to still have the control that they like but still have free roam which is more of like how modern gaming is now oh that is so so exciting oh my gosh okay well that's good i'm not really sure if i have a preference i i don't think i don't think i have a preference i think i like either or to be honest with you if the game is good I'm, I'm good with it. it is, the navigation's really not for me, but I know that it does make some people dizzy. So the fact that that's an option that you can change is lovely. That's lovely. Well, and hopefully what in my hopes is that maybe from the transition from Midnight in Salem to the new game, that there will definitely be some like what, you, what would you say, like, some enhancing on the movements of stuff? And I think there will be, I think. Just the overall navigation and stuff. Oh, gosh, that's so exciting. So, question. What did you think about the characters? Like, the character models and how they looked? Because I felt like there was, there, there it was very strong. Like, either people were like, oh my gosh, yes, this looks good. Or no, I'm I'm not too convinced they don't like the characters. And and to me, and some people were still comparing it to Midnight in Salem, which I was like, oh okay, I which I I thought it was an improvement from Midnight in Salem, personally. Yeah, this is this is true. This is true. I I. I, I want to play the game before I get a good, like, firm, like, this is how I feel on it. But just from the trailer alone and from all of the, you know, uh, sneak peeks that we've gotten, I thought it I thought it looked better. Okay, look, so for reference, right, I did go back and now I real now. Okay, wait, let me back it up. In gameplay will probably be a little different from the trailer. That is true because I like some of the graphics that they did release about Midnight in Salem were like they were very like high dev, but sometimes the actual game doesn't always reflect that. And also it depends on the computer system and how it's able to handle the graphics. Right. So I that is true. You kind of have to like wait to see in game how that's going to look, but still think it looks better. Like some of the and I remember when they released Radic as a character the detail of Radic, like the, spe the specifics on his face, I thought were more, were more detailed than any other, like from, like Midnight in Salem, I thought even in the character releases that they had, their, their characters had a little less detail on the face, you know? Okay, so, I pulled up an example. This is a shot from Midnight in Salem. And I think this is supposed to be one of the more like higher def images. I don't really remember that's how my game looked, but just looking at how Frank looks in this picture, I think he is lacking a little bit more detail in the like in the face than how some of the characters we've seen with Key. Because if you look, okay, like, okay, I know that you guys saw my post where I was like, the old guy is my favorite, and I still stand, I think the old guy is going to be my favorite. I don't know what his name is. But if you like zoom in on the individual, like the old guy's like face, you can like see like his, his blemish. Yeah, like, his, yes, exactly, Tori. You can see like his freckling, his eyes are like wrinkled. 
And I think it's so much more detail. You can see the individual knits on Radix Sweater in high def, super nice. And I can see blemishes on Elpha's hands. Are, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I think that it's the character animation and and like overall art style is a bit more detailed, in my opinion. Oh, did you? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna look at that. That's, oh, that's so exciting. Okay. But I don't know. I. And you know, actually now, I was trying to look up actually some of the images that were from the uh, trailer. I wish I, oh, I should have gotten this from the image. Okay, like, so for example, from the trailer that was released, this was actually one of my favorite images. I know it's like not much to look at, but I just loved it so much. Having you can really see like the detailing on the uh van like there's like some corners that are rusted or scratched and i love the background i think they're getting really good at like architectural background that looks so good i mean look how clear that looks and how beautiful it looks so good but i was actually so what i was doing was i was looking up labyrinth of lies and i was trying to look up Okay, where's it at? I'm gonna see if they have it. Mm. They might not have it. Oh, wait, was that it? Yes. Okay, I remember when this picture was released, when Labyrinth of Lies coming out, and thinking, oh my gosh, it's so high def. And it is. Like, it's very detailed. It's got, like, the beautiful light and the marble, you can see the reflection in the marble. I feel the same way about the environments in the key trailer. Like I was looking at them. Oh my gosh, they're, they're just so stunning. Hold on, I've got it. Where is it at? Like this room right here? Look at this. That is so pretty. I mean, I want to explore that immediately. I know it really looks like, uh, what's the room in Curse of Blackmore Manor? Which I love that you have compared this to this game. It looks like uh, the forge. It looks like, like almost like the forge. And I think this has, this is a room that has some kind of sort of like alchemy to it because if you zoom in, you can see like some like bottles and scales and stuff. Yes. It's very exciting. Yes, so I actually think that the key backgrounds, they, they look good. Yes, the jewels, they, oh, the jewels were so beautiful. They were, they were just beautiful, just stunning. I mean, oh man. No, I haven't. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should probably I should probably check out their uh, website. I don't think I've visited it. Oh, snap! I didn't even know that they had the game page up. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I didn't even know this. Okay, so... One thing I was wondering is I was I wanted to I wanted to know what the synopsis was, so if, if this if this is it oh okay oh ho, ho. this is an all new 3D game experience transports players to the heart of the historic city of Prague as they assume the role of famous detective Nancy Drew, tasked with uncovering the truth behind the theft of a client's heirloom necklace. Where's Prudence? Where is Prudence? If this is not Secret of the Scarlet Hand. <laughs> Players will navigate the sleuth through the beautiful city's mysterious old world environments, encounter challenging puzzles, decode riddles, and discover clues entwined with medieval legends, alchemy, and lore. Oh, yes. Yes. As the investigation deepens, Nancy uncovers a sinister web of cybercrime. Okay. 
players must outwit devious suspects and use their detective skills to unravel a mystery threatening the city's bohemian heritage. Danger and intrigue at every turn add to the suspense as the criminals stop at nothing to prevent you from bringing the truth to light. Oh, okay, highlight, highlight, criminals. Do you think that maybe there's more than one culprit? Your investigative and critical thinking skills are crucial to solving the case and discovering the real mystery behind the legend of the seven keys. Oh, that, that sounds so cool. Yeah, true. Yeah, because we have had games where there's like criminal, like Shadow Ranch, where there's like, like, you know, uh, the culprit has like other people helping him, but we never see the other people. That is true. Oh, oh my gosh. All the window system requirements are here and everything. I, do people know that this is up? I don't think, do they know? Okay, so we, it's Windows and Mac. This is nice. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. <laughs> oh, wait. <gasps> Okay, it's just coming soon. I was gonna get so excited. I was like, oh, I get to know the old guy's name. <laughs> really, does it? I didn't pay attention. Oh, wow. Wow, so you have to have at least 20 gigabytes of storage. Wow, okay, just for reference. Okay, if you, oh gosh. Okay, just for reference. What's a good reference to this? Uh, have you guys ever seen what 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 was okay? Let's see. What was Midnight in Salem's? Uh, let's see. What was their computer requirements? Ten. Oh, it's double. Wow. Okay. Let's let's back it up. Have you guys ever seen the Harry Potter game that came out? It's like open world and all that kind of stuff. That's a sixty gigabyte storage game. So that means that this Nancy Drew game is a third of the storage of, of, of Hogwarts Legacy. Yes, that's kind of mind-blowing because Hogwarts Legacy is like truly a humongous open world environment game. Um, so wow, the fact that they, that's just a big game. Like, wow, that's, that's amazing. Okay, okay. I, let's watch the trailer. Like, can we, let's watch the trailer again. I want to, I want to see it. Turn my music down. Okay. Hey, it's me. <laughs> okay. Me. Add time. Okay. Let's see what we're working with here. Does it mean the game is 20 gigabytes or you just need to have that much space available when you download it? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought Hogwarts was 60. Maybe I'm thinking of a, diff of a different game that's that's big that I know. Yeah, so I think it means I think it means you have to have 20 available to download it, right? That's what I I think it means. Yeah. Y yes, that, I think that is what it what it means. I think you have to have 20 gigabytes available on your computer for the space of that game. But I think that oh, whew, that's Yes, wow. Do I have that much? I think I do. <laughs> I have so many. I think I do. Okay, now we shall watch it. Let me know about sound so I know if that's too. All right, here we go. Here in the beautiful city of Prague, Okay, wait, first, just just a heads up, this voice acting, whoever is voice acting, I don't know if that's the old guy, the old man, I don't know, is so good. It's so cinematic. I, 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 honestly, I know this is kind of a random comparison, but I don't know if you've ever seen, it's not the guy with glasses, man. So this this is Tori, who we theorize maybe like the puppet, like the guy telling the story, narrator, in the beginning. It is so good. It kind of reminds me of 
National Treasures, you know, like when National Treasures opens up and it's got like the uh, grandpa and he's like telling the story to the kid. That's what it sounds like. That's his voice sounds like. It's so good. There are mysteries so steeped in history. They should be preserved for all to remember. Okay, now I I actually got to watch, uh, I haven't finished it yet, but Wizard Kitten Caitlin, she uploaded her reaction to this. And mysteries so well, hello, steeped Jilly. in history. They should she was she was saying she was like I wonder what all this like smoke and fog is in this museum, and she actually made a, like an interesting uh, theory that she was like oh like are we gonna be like you know having to like break in and like spy like there's lasers and like have to try and like get something out of a case or something, and now reading the synopsis that would be super interesting if that's what we had to do hello you're so sweet. Jolie has decided to join us, everyone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, let's keep going. Preserved for all to remember. Oh, is, so this is the clock you were... Oh, man. Man, that looks so... It's so detailed and just so good. And really just all around just beautiful, honestly. Yeah, there we go. Get the other fade out. Wow, I mean... That looks so good. Also, I should probably, let me put this in the best quality too. Oh my goodness. It's so good. And you have to admit, like, you know, to do a, to do an animation like Prague where the architecture is so detailed and you have like all of these just details, like, wow, that's like, that's a commitment. That's a commitment. But there are those who would use. See, that's what I'm. Okay, wait. Let me let me back off. I, I gotta. I want to pause are on those who, his. It's like a split second though. There are those. Okay, so I, everyone was. I mean, I know a lot of people were saying that they weren't convinced about how they liked the character animations, but I think they look so good. You can actually see the sunspots on his forehead. Like where there where there's like discoloration right there. That looks so good. I mean, I think I think that looks really good. You can see the fibers on his sweater vest. I can see the individual fibers. I think it, I mean like I think it looks good. Who so would use the technology of this oh, modern world to manipulate? world okay to manipulate the power it's of the exciting past there's some puzzles right there own dark we saw that the last market that. chatter has been talking about wait actually go back that's so funny just reliving key key memories here do you guys remember when they released this like in it was like in a split second in a video and someone found it and this was all blurred, but they somehow managed to unblur it. I don't know who did that in the fandom, but that was so funny. <laughs> Black market chatter has been talking about. Okay, yes, Emma. That's what, okay, yes. I was thinking the same thing. So like, look, I was looking up. I don't know if anyone's ever played Life is Strange. I am also a fan of the Life is Strange games. And like, these characters here, I mean, like, they look, that's what they that's what they look like in to me in this trailer. Yeah, like that's what I mean they, they they look the same to me. Okay, continuing. About an upcoming big I Also love the diversity of this cast. There's so much diversity. Okay, now now I will say in this shot the people here are definitely repeated. Like this this is the same guy here who is the same guy here. And I, I'm not a huge fan of that. I, I would like if the background people could be different from each other, but the overall like scene, like the architecture, the detail of the bus, beautiful. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Uh, like maybe they just have like a random, when like they're putting a scene together, they just, whoosh, they just like stick people in there. Um, and I think, 
the sprinkle of these people in the background almost feels a bit too uh, uh, calculated. Like they're just all so stringed perfectly. It doesn't feel like that's a as much of a uh, realistic open co courtyard area. Yeah, that's, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't know much about that process, but you can tell like these are definitely all the same people, the same character models. Um, and I don't know how hard it is. I don't know if these are just like templates that they take on and they, I don't know. So I wish that, but that's honestly so minor and like, yeah, that's not a, that's not a huge deal or anything. School in a matter of days. Also, I mentioned, okay, I mentioned I that in my reaction, I was like, these puzzles right here are just like the room. They remind me of the room, which is very days. cool and promising because the room has amazing puzzles. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does get a little bit better. One. Oh, but this scene though. Oh, this is, it's pretty. And there is only one. I remember being like, this was really obsessed with this scene right here. The tiling. Oh gosh. Do you guys remember the tiling when they first dropped the email on April 1st last year? <gasps> Wait, the magnifying glass? What magnifying glass? Did I miss that? And there is only oh, one. I did. Oh yeah. And I forgot. I totally forgot that they changed that. Only one. Who can it looks stop real nice. Them. Okay, so this is the coffee shop. So we've seen a pretty good bit of this. I think this was like the first environment we saw. And I think definitely the one we've seen the most. Are you Nancy? Okay, so what do you think about this character? Still, I think animation wise, it still looks very good. Okay, I do agree with that. I do think the magnifying glass should be flipped the other way. But cuz it's it's pointed to it's pointed as if you're left-handed, right? And most people play with like the mouse is the right hand, so the magnifying glass should be the right hand. Yeah, no, I I know what you I know what, I know what you mean, McKinsey. Yeah, I saw some people say that too. And like I I I can see that. She also kind of looks like uh, like some of the characters in like uh, Fallout games or uh, even Hogwarts Legacy, actually. Some, sometimes their hair, that's what kind of looks like. But uh, I, I, she wasn't my favorite character model. I think the old guys, Raddick, Oscar, the barista, I think I like all of their character models more than I do hers. But I, I again, we got to see the game. We got to see the game. I am. Have a seat. I've been waiting yeah. for you. That, yeah, that, yeah, that's what it is. Like, it's like her, it's, yeah, it's the shirts like not fitting or something. But yeah, no, yeah, you, gotta, you gotta see it. Have game. a seat. I've been waiting for you. Okay, I love her. I don't know her yet, but I really like this. I like, I like, I guess she's, she's the barista of the coffee shop. I like her. And I think her character design is absolutely perfect. I love the, I love the pink hair, the headband, this ape. I love I love it. Yes, she looks so good. Yeah, long hair does tend to be off. And that's probably why they only, maybe that's why they only went for one character with long hair. Because the rest, even in the background. Talking about an upcoming. Even in the background, all of these characters have, like, the females have short hair. School in a matter so maybe, of maybe that's Maybe that's why they didn't, they're still trying to, like, kind of experiment with long hair. I am. Have a seat. I've been waiting for you. Oh, it's so exciting. I'm just, In your like, letter, thrilled. you explain what was stolen. It was my mother's necklace. Yeah, this part right been here replaced so... With look at that. That is just beautiful. I mean, it just... The animation, the shininess, the... How it... Oh, it just is so good. It looks so good. Gems. It has gone too far. What's this? Yeah, so if you notice, they and I'm wondering too, and I like I said, I don't know how this works. I think I have watched a couple videos on Unity, and I may not have this completely down right, but I feel like you can buy assets 
And then based on the assets you buy, you can use them in game. So for example, like they may have some animators or, uh, you know, game uh, people that are working on like putting together the, the environments and stuff. And they may be like to save time buying assets such as characters. I don't know how modifiable those are. And I don't know if I'm like hundred percent on this information, but that would make sense as to why we have so much repeated characters in this space. Cause like in every environment, we have the same few background characters. What's this? So What's up, L? How are you? Suspects. You will reach out to them. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite character. Suspects. You will reach out. Hold on, I gotta, if I can get on him. Suspects. Yes, oh my gosh. He's my favorite. Hey, I'm I'm actually curious about this background character. She is someone we've never seen before. Mm. Yeah, we've never seen her before. Uh, she's she wasn't on any of the background. Yeah, but I was she in, was she in the background in the courtyard? <laughs> I'm still, I feel like even if he's the bad guy, I'm still going to love him. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, is Nancy wearing a ring? Uh, maybe this is Nancy's hand. Maybe so. Wait a minute. Is he wearing what a priest in a church would wear? Isn't that a priest collar? Like in like a Catholic church, isn't that what they wear? Oh my gosh, is he like a priest at a cathedral? Oh man, I am invested. I don't know who he is, what he does, but I love him. And you know what? I even have, they're not the right shade, <laughs> a priest with tarot cards. I, I don't know. I'm just, I even, look, me and him, we can twinsy. Yeah. I don't know what his name is. I'm dying to know what his name is. Oh, I love him so much. Okay. Let's let's let let us continue. You will reach out to them and find Oh wait. Reach out to them. Yeah, look at look at Elka. Her hair looks really good. I think her hair, as far as long hair goes, is awesome. It's silky. It moves when she moves. It looks really nice there. Um, I'm imagining that Elka's pretty young because they gave her more of a, like a baby face. And she doesn't have as much uh, like wrinkle. Or, I mean, she's just like it's a smoother face. I'm assuming she's just younger. I'm very curious to explore whatever her shop is. She must have like a shop in the courtyard area. Them and find out who's... And I'm very... I'm see like look at this. Th this is what I'm talking about. There in the cafe, there are background characters that have way more detail and animation than what there were in the courtyard. And I think that is part of the step up from Midnight in Salem because in Midnight in Salem, every background character was like the same. I can totally handle playing this game and there being some background courtyard characters that are kind of like just kind of there. But as long as like, like in situations like this, having like this in the background where there's more detail, yes, I'm so for that. I'm so for that. That's true. The lighting in the tech room, yeah, it may make her look a little different there. That's true. But wow, this looks like actually a person I know, which is, that's how detailed it is. And I love it. And I love his outfit. I love the fit. I would wear that. I like that. Oh, and interesting enough here in the background on whatever this board is back here, this, whoever this is in this photo, he actually kind of looks like that uh, green monsterish looking thing at the end. So I'm curious to know more about that as well. He does. Oh, he does. That's exactly what he looks like. Told the gems. What is this place? A card and footprints. <sighs> Who's there? Okay, what do we... What? What do you think about all this scary stuff? <laughs> it, just, it makes me kind of nervous because I, I'm not really good with scary games. It makes me a little nervous. 
<laughs> the necklace it is the same as but exciting. She looks very good. Her character detail is so good. I don't know. I had read. I had read on um, uh, someone. So, someone had posted that they thought that they didn't like that she had so much dark circle under her eyes. But yeah, but like I mean, that's just that's just part of her character. I mean, you know, just the way that they made her. But like, I don't think that makes it look bad. You know. Uh, but also, oh gosh, I wish I could like zoom in on this real quick. Actually, let me turn the closed captioning off. Can everyone see this right here? I just want to pay attention to that. That is her vein. And her knuckles have like that reddish hue that like sometimes knuckles have. Like that detail's so good. I don't know. I don't know what people mean when they say they, the graphics are good. This is amazing. That looks so good. Yeah, like I do too. I think that that just makes her look more real. I got dark circles. Like, pfft. Yes. The first time I saw it. The jewels belong to the people. You must have heard about the gem Beautiful. forgeries Beautiful. in Prague. Not the usual tourist question. I'm not the usual tourist. Oh, I think I accidentally sped it up. How do I not do that? Yeah, normal. Okay, go back to my favorite guy. Look at my favorite guy. Not the usual tourist question. I not the usual tourist question. I love him so much. I love his accent. And I just... Uh, <laughs> I'm not the usual tourist. If I'm going to snoop, I'd better wait, be wait, quick. Wait, wait. Go back, go back. Okay. Oh, okay. So look, these three characters here at the cafe, these are not the characters in the background. I do not remember seeing them, but they do repeat here. And maybe here. So this is what I'm curious to know. If maybe depending on what environment you're in, the background characters are different. And if so, wow, that's going to be another huge step just of improvement. And also, look, there's our, our cart, our infamous cart from the cover. So this is definitely going to be a huge central location where we spend a lot of time. If I'm going to snoop, I bet. <gasps> you guys, I think he's a clergy. He's, he is a priest or something. Look, Faith Weekly. This must be his desk. <gasps> In the cathedral. Ah! I think that's what that is. I think that's what that is. Oh, dun, 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 da, da. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is like, oh, okay, wow. Okay, this is just information that i just love better be quick this mark okay wait if we could just okay that's okay this mark it could oh be is part that of... wait is that the cathedral quick. isn't that the cathedral how do you pronounce that better i don't want to pronounce quick. it wrong is it vitus or vitus saint saint oh he oh he has to be that's what it is he is a cathedral priest at the saint vitus vitus cathedral i'm convinced so this is his his church office maybe and we are in oh what if he is the bad guy oh man this we'll mark, have to see. it could be part of an ancient riddle alchemists were very clever oh oh it's so good oh, he's the church secretary I think he's the church secretary. Look, look, he has the cathedral at the back of his desk and it looks like this says Old Testament. This looks like it says Old Testament on it. And okay, may or maybe he's the Oh, no. He's the clock person. He he's the and he has a puppet on the shelf. Oh, he fixes the clock. He has puppets. Oh. Oh, it's his last will and testament. Oh, this is his workshop. Okay. Yes, you're right. I think it does say last will and testament. Okay, I got ahead of myself. Yeah, I think it does say will and testament. Yeah, okay, so it does say will and testament. Okay, so will and testament. What did he get? Oh, he's the narrator. Oh, and he also has puppet. 
Oh my gosh. This is, I, this is, oh, this is so exciting. Oh, been listening while I drive home. I'm so excited for the new game. Yes, me too. It's going to be so good. I want to know what time it comes out so I know what day to take off. Yeah, mm, true. If it could come out, I, I wonder what time they came out. Hold on. I'm going to look that up in just a second. Be clever. We should get out of here. It's a good thing I have a bobby pin on me. Okay, I do want to pause this here. There has been one critique that I do agree with from people offering, you know, their opinions. And that is um, part of uh, the way that Nancy says lines. And I, I actually like uh, Brittany coming on as like, the new voice of Nancy. And I love Lonnie. I don't, I don't mind that there is a change. I, like, I'm okay with that. I just think that if there could just be a few tweaks to the way that she delivers some of the lines... I would be more content with that because I think Brittany, she approaches it more as um, uh, almost kind of like, I think I've, I've heard some of her previous works and she sounds much more like clear and crisp when she does voice acting uh, roles, which there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. But I think in the role of Nancy, Nancy should have more of a like warmer tone and Brittany's tone is much more like, sterile and much more cold. And so when she says things like, hi, I'm Nancy Drew, they just sound almost more like a Siri type of talking. And um, I wonder if maybe that she could have more lines that are a bit more warm sounding. This is true. Getting lines in isolation without knowing context is challenging, but I, st I still think that maybe Maybe that there could just be a bit more warmth to her voice, more like a, uh, like, cause I think, I think about how, uh, Lonnie would introduce Nancy and she'd be like, hi, I'm Nancy Drew. And it has much more of a, uh, real, real kind of tone to it. You can actually hear someone speaking like that. Whereas this way, I feel like I, I am hearing it and I'm hearing much more like just, um, like a, just a bit more monotone to it. And I just, if it could just warm up just a little bit, I think it'd be perfect. I found this iron key. And that's in the icon. Streets, it looks there so are secrets to unlock. Lurking in Wait, we have to go back. Ugh. Oh, look, Dean of the Metropolitan Chapter of St. Beat. There it is. Oh, really? Okay, so they didn't release Steam immediately. So they released on her interactive first, then that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, or, yeah that's what I think. That would, that, that's just my, my take on it. But, uh, yeah. Okay, this is what I was curious. I wanted to read this, yeah. It's kind of hard to read, though. But it has a shield and a sword. So I feel like we open up someone's to Oh, and look, puppet, puppet, toy maker. This has to be his workstation. We open up his toolbox and oh, lo and behold, we find a clue about him. Lurking in every corner. I wonder if I... So I saw some people say something about like, what is... I wonder if I'm looking in the Hold wrong... Like, what is... What is this thing right here that's like coming out of the corner? I don't know if that's necessarily how it will be in the game or if maybe they just have that in there for the trailer. I don't know. Maybe it will be like that for the game. I do love, I love the spooky element of it. I think, when, when's the last time? I, well, I was going to, excuse me. I was about to say, when's the last time we had a spooky game and then I forgot? Oh yeah, Midnight Sam. <laughs> no, what I mean is, is when is the last time, let's see, before Midnight in Salem, when's the last time we had a spooky game? I'm trying to think. Was it Shadow? No, Ghost of Thor Ghost of Thornton Hall. So we have Ghost of Thornton Hall. Then it was Midnight in Salem. So I like that they're adding a spooky element to this one. Yeah, this is nice. I like that. I wonder if I'm looking in the... Wait, Tori says... Can we talk about the fact that characters in this game seem to appear in lots of different locations? I wonder if when we need to talk to them, they'll always be in the same place or different spots. Ooh, good point, Tori. I think they're going to be in different spots. 
I think so. Because you're seeing, or unless those are cut scenes that are, that come during out throughout the game, like the barista, she sits down at a table at one point and I don't know the girl's name with the long hair. She's talking and she slams something on the table and then sometimes she's behind. Yeah. I think it, I think they may move around. The wrong place. <laughs> Traditions are not changed easily. Trust no one. I. Okay. So. Oh, these are oh, these are their character arts. Wow, they look so good. Okay, do you think that maybe she's more involved with Okay, here's what I think. We don't have character bios yet, but this is what I'm taking on. She's the barista of the cafe. She's the museum director. He's an art dealer or a jewelry dealer. Elka works at the store. I don't know who Radic is, and the other guy is the puppeteer and the other guy is the priest. Yep. That's what I think. Oh my gosh. That's who Hans is. Hans, Hans, second shine. This something quality. Oh, so Hans is going to be a phone character and he's going to be someone that can verify jewelry, like jewels, whether or not a diamond is actually a diamond or if it's a fraud. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's going to be great. Now, what do you guys think about this book, Nancy's book? This is definitely different from what we uh, what we see in other games. This is brand new. Um, it looks very modern, and I think I like it. I think I like this, uh, this fresh take on Nancy's uh, notebook. Having suspects with the pictures and the orange dots. I guess that means that there's something that links them to something or something we have to... Oh, maybe we can click on them and then read about them. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. I like it. Yeah. They have my work cut out for me. You can never be too. And look at this. I love her interactive. You are so good for doing this. Like having the stickers on here from past games is brilliant. Careful on the internet these days. Getting closer. This looks like a fun puzzle and it looks like it's one of those puzzles where like time is ticking and you have to finish it really fast. <laughs> oh, and that thing. I need we got to talk Be about too that. Careful thing. on the internet these days. Getting closer. What is that? Obviously, we're on a laptop or a computer and we're being hacked and this is what's coming from it. Oh. Goodness gracious. It is the puppet of death. The puppet of death. Oh, that is, that is terrifying, is it not? I know. I know. That, ooh, what if this is our scariest game yet? Whoa, wait a minute. This was my first time seeing this. That is a person. You can definitely see. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's a knight. The death. Oh, that's a knight. That was a knight. You can see the helmet and the shiny armor feet at the bottom. Now, I don't know if this is blurred over like with some stuff for the trailer or if that's really how it's going to be. But if you're telling me that there's like some kind of knight ghost, okay, that's cool. The real monsters in Prague <gasps> don't always look at Okay, ooh, now let's break this down. Puppeteers, there it is. Oh my gosh, look, it's the doll from Train. Antique Puppet Restoration Society. Oh, that is so fun. Oh, it's a cat. Whose cat is that? Okay, oh, maybe Radic is an apprentice for the puppeteer. Maybe he works with the puppet. Wow. Okay. We're learning so much. We can also see his last name, but it's kind of hard to make out. <laughs> Oscar. Good. Castle main hall. <laughs> Oh, I can't with spiders. Gosh, it's Sometimes just so the good. past. Something's following me. 
shall remain in the past. Oh, I love it. I love the medieval take on it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, oh, good point, Tori. I know. Radix line, the real monsters in Prague don't always look like it. Honestly, make me hope he's a bad guy because I love it when the villains act like your friend when they're really just getting to portray you. Oh, man. And then, of course, this clever. I thought it was over. No. Releasing? In <laughs> just three weeks? <laughs> it's so good. It's so stinking good. Oh, my gosh. Well... I'm just absolutely obsessed. Okay, well, that is so fun. I just, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I think this is wonderful. I think the jump from going from Midnight in Salem to Mystery of the Seven Keys is flawless. I think it just looking so put together and just polished and just wonderful. The story looks very in depth and I'm excited to dive in and learn more about Prague and its history and to really solve another case. I mean, like, I think this is gonna be a really great game. I really do. I have a very good gut feeling and just based on everything that they've shown us in the last year, it just it just is good it looks good the story is good the location is good the graphics are good the music has been phenomenal yes you're right tori i think the game is gonna be great if the script is great and i'm hoping that it is i'm intrigued by it and i think the elements of spooky and puppeteer and a priest and medieval and alchemy and all of the things is just like captivating i'm so pumped I'm so pumped. It makes me happy to know that the current staff at her actually listen. Yeah, and they really are just working so hard to make something so amazing. You know, they they believe it's good and they've put so much heart and love into it and I believe it will be also, so. Well, my friends, I do have to get going. I didn't have but probably about an hour and it's been almost an hour. So I do have to kind of get going here. But um, I thank you so much for joining. Uh, just kind of wanted to just chat, break down the trailer with you guys and just talk about what just how lovely, how lovely this news is. So stay tuned um, for more announcements from me. And I hope to see you guys.